How's it going, everybody? Hysteria here. Today, I'm going to be talking about multiverses. I've seen tier lists everywhere on the internet. People talking about who's good, who's bad, who needs a nerf, who needs a buff. And I found a source that has the math of it. How often characters are picked and how often they win. I have that broken down into percentages. And I compiled that into two separate tier lists that I can put side by side. So we can compare and see where the characters are. I will leave the link in description to where I got this information. You can take a look at that if you would like as well. So first, I have the pick rates. So these are the pick rates. Most picked character being Shaggy, which you can attribute to being unlocked as soon as you finish the tutorial. and then. Least picked is Rain Dog. And then this is the win percentages. Might be what you expected. Might some characters might be a little different than what you expected. I know I was shocked by a few of these. So now that you had a second to let that sink in. Let's put them side by side. So in each tier from most to least. In every single one, I have this ordered. So we'll, we'll talk about them a little bit. So like I said, Shaggy, everyone has Shaggy. A lot of people are going to play him. He had just under 10% of a pick rate, which adds up. Where he lands, he has an above 50% win rate. So. He is still winning a lot of games, even though people, you know, old players, new players, everybody has him. The fact that he is maintaining an above 50% win rate tells you he's a good character. Bugs Bunny. Now, a character that is not unlocked automatically. Granted, a very much beloved character, understandable. Also, people unlocking him because they got, you know, a safe kicked in their face into Nair whirlwind spams and then smacked with a bat to die. It made people probably unlock him as well. Bugs is a very, very good character. Wonder Woman. As you can see, third most picked, second highest win rate. Wonder Woman is cracked. Wonder Woman's a really, really, really good character. <clears throat> now this is where things get interesting. Jason. For someone who is the fourth most picked character in the game, to have the second lowest win rate. I think that tells you he needs a buff. I know I'm not the first one to say that. I'm not going to pretend like I am. But aside from having some good kill power, he's combo food and doesn't have a lot of combos. So he could use a little bit of help. He could definitely use a little bit of help. Harley Quinn. Now, Harley is an interesting one. She was a character that was really, really good in beta a year ago. And on release, she had, you know, loops and, you know, amazing confirms. She, if you weren't careful, she could zero to death you pretty, pretty easily. Some people said top five character on release. To be honest, I would have put her just outside that. I think there were some uh, characters people were overlooking, but that's irrelevant news now because. At, you know, game has had some fixes, pat, you know, balancing patches. She's not a top five anymore. Top five picked, but top, bottom five in win rate. Joker definitely was a top five character on release. Some people realized it day one, some people didn't. I Like I said, I've been paying attention to, you know, what people have been saying and looking at the tier lists. Some people realized he was this good, some people didn't. And I know that they said they have some plans for Joker to kind of uh, 
tone him down a little bit, but Joker is a top five character in my opinion. Now Stripe is a character that I think people are starting to catch wind of because I am starting to see more Stripe players lately. Oh, he hits you with his, you know, you know, some up special or up air or whatever, gets you near the blast zone. He can then just stand there and just shoot his gun at you and boom, you're dead. Garnet has good damage. She is kind of heavy, but she is very slow in combo food. Now that we're in the bottom four of, you know, the characters that have less than 2%, And this is the point where I think the ki the characters are carried by the a skilled player. The good ones aren't that much of a struggle. The bad ones are free. If it, you have to be really good with this character to do well, carried by the player. Gizmo. Gizmo has a lot of utility and good kill power, but you but requires so much setup for that to happen. If you don't know Gizmo's intricacies, you will not you you will struggle. He's not a easy character to just pick up and win, even though his win rate is very high. That's because the few people that are playing him know him very well and i will say the same thing for the last two velma and rain dog they're played by one percent each of the player base velma needs a buff rain dog is pretty is pretty balanced the way he is but they have a very high win rate and that shows the uh, level of dedications the small amount of the player base has to those individual characters. And that is the entire tier list. And that's it. That's it. That's the, that's the entire list comparing the pick rates to the win rates. Let me know what you guys think. If you like this, maybe I'll do the 1v1 tier list. And if you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Helps out a lot and we can keep doing more of these. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.